Take a good look at the Lato Softball Complex. The picture doesn't say much. There's no banners and not much tradition. But over the past week, history has made an abrupt change. Last week, the Falcons won their first district championship since the slow pitch days of the early 80s. And for a school which has worn the label of loser for the past decade, these ladies wanted none of it. Everybody thinks we're just a ghetto school and that we're not really known for our sports. We're nothing what people say. They have heart and determination. They wanted to be the best and they proved it to everybody. What makes Leto's journey even more amazing is the way the season started, when their old coach suddenly quit on them just a week and a half into practice. But that's when Kelly Hacker stepped in. And finally, these players had someone to believe in and someone who believed in them. Every single one of you, you guys all hold this together as a team. She's not one of those coaches that's just out here to like yell at us and coach. She's out here to actually like want to know how we are and how we feel on more of a personal level also, not just as a coach, but she's somebody you can talk to and look up to. And now that they've arrived, it's not just about winning. At Leto, it's about something more. It's an atmosphere that we're not used to. So it's, uh, there, there's a lot of positive emotion going on throughout our, our hallways and, and throughout the school right now. It's pretty cool. Now that we've actually made a mark, I think it'll get a lot of kids inspired and determined to become better athletes. Tuesday night, the Falcons begin their state title chase against Osceola. Why stop dreaming now? Anything's possible though, right? It is. As you can see, we started from nothing and look at us now. Look at them now. Leto Falcons, district champions. In Tampa, Drew Felios, Bright House Sports Network.